welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm just gonna share some things that I did to grow my edges and also to grow them back thicker and fuller so stick around and stay tuned okay. so this is what I did get your notebooks out get your pen and pad get your notes out on your cell phone guys It is super simple. It's not a whole lot of work at all. And yeah, let's get started and let's grow some edges. <laughs> okay, so basically what I did, step one, is moisturize my edges. I have a spray bottle with some water. And this is what I was doing on my edges before. But this is what I also had to apply to the bald spot to help the hair grow back as well. And I also had in my spray bottle water and aloe vera juice. Okay? Aloe vera juice. Okay? And then the next thing is very, very important. The next thing is black castor oil or black Jamaican castor oil. That is what I use. So honestly, at the end of the day, the bald spot was a gift and a curse. Basically, it helped me to know that what I was doing with my edges was actually working. I knew because I had to start fresh with a whole bald spot. So I knew if this is growing hair on this bald spot and it's getting the hair to grow back nice and thick, then I know it's doing the same thing on my edges that are already there. And they were. And, you know, over some years, you know, it is now 2020 and my edges are way more fuller, way more thicker. Okay, so what I would do is I would spray my hairline. I just spray my hairline with the water and the aloe vera. I just kind of rub that down. On my hairline I just brush it down massage it in and then I'll go in with a thick oil I suggest black Jamaican castor oil because that's what I used at the time today I'm more geared towards the wild growth oil this is what I've been obsessed with lately but I do still use black Jamaican castor oil I would just suggest if you're trying to get your edges to grow back use a thick oil so a castor oil a black jamaican castor oil wild growth oil but what works best for me is using black jamaican castor oil i will always pick up black jamaican castor oil this was a lifesaver i just put a little bit on the tips of my fingers i worked it in on my edges and rubbed it in on the ball spot as well and just massaged it in and i did this every single day at that time i didn't really care too much about styling my edges but when i did style my edges i didn't use gels at the time i just used my aloe vera and my black jamaican castor oil i would just apply that in a toothbrush if your edge hairs are a little stubborn mine are sometimes sometimes they're not they have a mind of their own i do apply a little bit of gel or however much is needed depending on how my edges is acting that day and if you want them to lay down because they may start to curl up apply some gel apply some edge control wrap it with a scarf and you're all set but at the end of the day it was very important for me to create that protective barrier before i put anything on my scalp and making sure that my edges were moisturized first before i applied any type of products on my edges moisturize 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 <laughs> If you want to grow your edges back, this is what works for me. And give it a shot. It may work for you as well. You need water, aloe vera juice, black Jamaican castor oil, and massage your scalp. In that oil, in that oil. Every single day. Just give it some massages, okay? It feels so good. It works. I didn't ever do it for a long time. I know people say massage your scalp and massage for five minutes. I, I probably did it for about a minute. I really didn't do it that long at all. I just made sure I was consistent and did it every single day. And I do have just a few other tips of things that I did as well that definitely helped my edges to grow back and to help my edges grow in fuller. When I deep conditioned my hair, I made sure to focus on my hairline because I want to make sure I'm strengthening that hair too. So I made sure to focus on my edges, okay? 
at the time I did take some hair supplements and I definitely think those things helped if you want to go right ahead take some hair skin and nail pills liquid biotin whatever works best for you at the time I was taking main metabolism so that definitely helps stay away from tight hairstyles Period. that's what I did so the whole like the year after that so in 2016 all I ever wore was like a headband and some loose buns every single day I wore the same hairstyle all the time sometimes I would switch it up and you know have some twists in my hair or some braids but the twists and braids that I had in my hair I did myself I did do a sew-in once before I went to another hairstylist <laughs> and she listened she braided my hair up loosely and it, she didn't put a super tight sewing in my head. Another tip that I forgot to mention is to be careful when going to hairstylists. Some of them will say they specialize in natural hair and do not. All I recommend is that you do your research before going to hairstylists so you do not end up in situations like I have. If you see red flags, do not continue the service. Long term, it is not worth it. Okay, stop the service. You do not need to get your hair done from them. You do not need to pay them save your coin you can find somebody else or you could do it yourself also don't be afraid to ask questions it is your hair at the end of the day and you want to ensure that your hair is being taken care of properly if you're gonna get protective styles or whatever just make sure they're not super tight okay stay away from super tight styles and while you're letting your hair breathe or whatever or wearing your natural hair out if you're gonna wear a bun or something wear a loose bun so I wasn't that concerned about super sleek styles and super tight styles. You don't want to be so concerned about that, especially when you're trying to grow your edges out or grow the hair on your hairline back out. So the bald spot that I had, the hair has started growing back pretty fast. I got my edges back. I got my edges back. <laughs> Just stay consistent with it and you'll be all right. I just hope this video is able to help someone. And I think it's super simple. You just do it every day. Stay consistent with it. It takes no time at all. And then you're going to start seeing your hair grow back. Okay? So, yes, guys. That is all I have. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it is helpful. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. All that good stuff, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.